Okay, good morning to all. Happy Monday to all of you. So we'll start the session. Uh, in, the, in the previous class, we were discussing, uh, you know, uh, unit five, that is screening the candidates. So there uh, we discussed about uh, application forms, wherein we understood the meaning of biodata, resume, then CV, and even weighted application blanks. So majorly students in this particular unit, that is in unit five, we understood the meaning, uh, definition, purpose, uh, you know, advantages and disadvantages of all these methods, of all these forms. Then uh, we even uh, understood about taking a behavioral approach to recruitment. Now today's uh, session is concerned. So we'll try to understand identifying the ingredients of success during the interview. Yeah. One minute. Okay. So uh, what are what should be the ingredients? Uh, you know, uh, ingredients of a successful interview. So what I'll do is, students, can you see the slide? All of you, can anyone reply? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So more, I'll be giving a lot of examples here to, uh, to explain you the concepts. The first point is concerned, uh, the goal orientation also called as the starting point. So what we are discussing now, so what are the ingredients of uh, success? The first one is called uh, starting point, also called as, you know, uh, goal orientation. Now, what happens in case of uh, the goal orientation of the first point? Uh, the first quality is the goal orientation. Interviewers need to know that the candidate has developed the habit of setting specific goals and working toward their achievement. There is focus to their behavior, a sense of direction and a sense of mission. Now, always I'll be telling you all that you should be smart enough, right? So when I say smart enough, it is not just dressing or looking smart. It is, uh, you should be specific, you should be measurable, you should be achievable and realistic and time bound. Okay. So that is the uh, first point in uh, identifying the ingredients of the success. Then the second one is called a uh, day to day execution. to day execution now what happens here it is also nothing but uh, you know the initiative and the intelligence what you will be taking care of in the organization see in case of uh, day to day execution it can be broadly uh, they have three qualities the first one is organization then the initiative and the intelligence the interviewers need to know that the candidate pursues his or her goals in an intelligent disciplined and effective manner then planning ahead, focusing on the things that count, not getting sidetracked by the things. They need to know that the candidate works effectively in the organization. That is very important. The first one was starting point, that is goal orientation. And the second one is called the day-to-day -day execution, wherein we have three parameters in that. The first one is called organization. The second one is the initiative. Now, when I say initiative, the interviewers need to know that the candidate is sort of a person who takes the... Uh, initiative uh, or the leadership quality in each and every task. If there is one thing that winners all have in common is the initiative, right? That is uh, that is understood by everyone. See, if someone is someone has won today means you just imagine how much pain he has uh, encountered or how much pain he, he might have taken from past couple of years, right? So because of that initiative. And the third point is intelligence, intelligence or being smart. You all managers should be always smart, right? 
the interviewers need to know that the candidate is bright enough to think on his on his or her feet or who thinks on his own or who are, who uses his own brain see what is happening in the situation or where a discussion is leading the winner's profile is heightened with every year that passes see one more thing very important thing i want to highlight here students is that see remember this proverb always uh, winners winners has got many parents winners will be having many parents but always failure is an orphan right if someone has won everybody will come are he is my uh, boy i have guided him and because of me he has won something like that okay but if you lose in your life or in a in a game or in your examination if you fail it is because of you see this is uh, this is what we have to say but a leader what he'll do is in failure he will take the responsibility and if in success he will say because of others so a very important thing when you are working in the team is you should be taking that initiative you should be having that leadership quality right and the next one uh, dealing with the people okay let me type here dealing now what happens in case of dealing with the people that is uh, how exactly you will build a relationship with the clients the communication skills are concerned and leadership students i want to make one more point here the first thing as a hr manager or from the management point of view you should take into confidence the internal stakeholders so when i say the internal stakeholders it can be the employees of the organization it can be uh uh you know the management is concerned they should take care of all these internal stakeholders first so when you take care of internal stakeholders automatically your business will improve so that is why the third point is concerned dealing with the people here uh, the very important thing is relationship building the the important uh, quality that the interviewers are going to be looking is for the relationship building see as i already mentioned to you when a fresh blood is entering into the team that fresh blood should gel up with the existing employees of the organization right so they need to know that the candidate is the sort of person who builds good relationship with the people and is always a good team player who can establish a rapport quickly and readily in the initial encounters and even can bridge the gap with the departments and functions someone is joining now okay okay so uh, relationship building that is uh, the the uh, the candidate is a sort of person who builds good relationship with the people and is always a good team player okay then the second important thing is students communication skills so communication skills should uh, will play a very very important role when it comes to a team everyone these days has to be a communicator and winners are especially good at it please understand this so when whenever you are truthful and whenever you uh, are good in uh, you know taking the initiative so you always try to express with your team you will never hide from the team right the uh, the, the the leaders always convey the information effectively they are able to communicate ideas and concepts as well they speak well and they recognize the important fact of all the communication is something that happens in the minds and hearts of the audience not the words of the speaker and the very important thing is dealing with the people the last point is concerned that is leadership so leadership is the interviewers need to know that the candidate is confident and assertive enough to move a discussion along and make sure that the certain key points are covered right so there are few if any jobs these days in which the leadership factor does not set the truly successful performer see uh, uh, if you if you ask me again there are a lot of qualities to identify a good leader say so good leader is one who will always take the initiative a good leader is one who always uh, works harder and harder uh, compared to his team a good leader is one who tells always that 
success is because of my team and failure is uh, might be i might have taken a wrong decision right so there are a lot of uh, points but uh, when it comes to identifying the ingredients of success the first point what we discussed was starting point and day to day execution and dealing with the people next point is concern it is the inner quality or the inbuilt quality or you can say uh, as the inner person now what do you mean by this uh, inner person see always uh, the interviewer looks for someone who is enthusiastic drive and uh, resilience now when i say enthusiasm what is enthusiasm see the moment i i i see you uh, when i am taking the interview i should feel that yes he or she should be there in my team or he or she should be there in my organization so that that is the energy or the a uh, positive vibes what you will be creating when you go to the interview room if you are dull or afraid or uh, something if you are hiding if a communication is not good that will be easily reflecting right so when i say inner person there are three inner qualities that play an absolutely vital role in the successful achievement of one's goal the first and the foremost thing is student enthusiasm the interviewers need to know that the candidate is a positive upbeat and enthusiastic kind of a person who enjoys the work who gets keenly involved in things and whose uh, you know whose manner communicates their enthusiasm to other people it is not enough to be enthusiastic it has to be a vibrant visible quality that other people can see and what is even more important be affected by winners do not keep their enthusiasm quietly to themselves they spread it around this is a very very important quality of the winners right so they do not keep the enthusiasm among themselves so wherever they go they will be spreading the positive vibes so the enthusiasm within them will be coming out and they'll be spreading a positive vibes with all the team members so even though one of the team member is not functioning he will go try to motivate him get the things done from him that is what is a inner quality or the inbuilt quality or a inner person is all about okay the second one is concerned in inner person what i am discussing the drive see the interviewers need to know that the candidate is the sort of a person who aims high who does not settle for average so once a goal has been set and committed to does not rest until that goal has been achieved so we'll say no what a killing attitude you have got so what a attitude you have got that means given any task for you so you should be in a position to complete that and then go for the next task so sometimes it so happens that uh, you know in between that particular goal itself you will stop thinking that oh i am tired today i need not work more i am straining myself oh this uh, this project cannot be completed by me see please understand students you are setting the limitations for yourself you are setting the limitation for your mind okay so drive is concerned you have to motivate your mind please understand this you have to motivate your mind in such a way that yes i can do i can uh, i can complete the task see just practice all of you every day morning i i'm telling you from first semester get up early in the morning so how many of you are doing that especially staying in home some of you will be getting up at uh, 8:30 or 9 or sometimes still lying on the bed and seeing this particular uh, listening to this particular audio right see every day you should set your mind in such a way that your your you should train your mind very important is training your mind get up early in the morning study something or go for exercise and after that you know you have to study help your parents so this should be your attitude a positive attitude let me ask voluntarily among all the students anyone is practicing that yeah anybody sir i am getting up early in the morning sir i am helping my parents or i am studying or i am working already sir anybody who want to share your uh, you know ingredients of success 
see here only just a small example when i ask you a question nobody is taking the initiative only see what i am discussing the ingredients identifying the ingredients of success so given uh, given an opportunity for me to identify who is uh, best then all the 18 of you when i throw a ball to your court you are not even taking that yeah anybody can uh, discuss their uh, routine sir i am doing this sir yes james noel james am i audible to you yes sir yeah uh, noel any positive points you want to discuss about you any one sir, positive uh, point sir i am very confident sir okay can and i am good at uh, motivate uh, sir uh, like like while conducting any event and all sir or i go to any f like functions and all i be very confident sir and i motivate people around me to be confident as well if i'm working in a team i'm always confident and i keep a positive approach sir okay noel are you like this from your childhood or what is that incident which no, made sir. you like to be confident sir i was not like this till my 10th sir after i joined my college after i got the exposure to the outside world i started becoming more and more confident sir like it was a building block sir i have to climb many steps to be at this moment sir very good very good okay okay thank you so much noel very good so your confidence means the way you yes, are speaking sir. we can identify that any other student yes sir sariga sakshi see how noel spoke confidently ashwini bharat divya patel all are hr students future human resource managers right rohini patil sakshi anybody last one opportunity i'll give you uma vani yashaswini sushmita what is that you know uh, winning attitude you have got with you only one thing you tell me sir it's enough sandra yeah good morning sandra you can even reply in the chat box there anybody wants to express so what is one attitude which uh, people see at you and say wow what an attitude you have got so that is your uh, you know ingredient to success and that that should be there that positive thing should be there throughout your life what is that one thing hmm Yes, Ashwini. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, want to discuss anything? Sir, nothing, sir. Just I just get up at five uh, uh, thirty or six in the morning. I just do some yoga yeah. and all uh, to make day. You uh, know, may uh, make my uh, mind to be fresh, refreshed. Okay. Uh, every day, later, every just... day is your routine. At five thirty, you will get up every day. Yes, sir. Since this lockdown, I do, sir. Before that, I could not able to do. Uh, since this lockdown, I am at home, so I am doing. Sir. So every day you are doing this log, uh, this yoga, right? So even if you miss one day, how do you feel? Sir, I feel like uh, I I do miss something. Like my daily routine will be different, ah, sir. Ah, yes. So that is what I was telling. Actually, you know, even okay. one day if you miss. so you yes. will be disturbed you will be dull right that is a killing attitude so she has practiced it every day 5:30 getting up in the early in the morning then doing yoga see the moment you do that particular thing you practice it so that will be in your blood so you even though i think she might not require alarm now 5:30 she'll get up in the morning right ishashwini yeah sir that has become routine for me now like uh, though my parents tell me for one day okay see if i just get up now <laughs> that will be fantastic so that's become routine for me so okay okay thank you so much okay yeah sir okay good very good see uh, i need to ask you in detail ha huh? individually then only you will tell otherwise you will not even open your mouth that should not be your uh, thing all of you i am telling the moment you get an opportunity you need to share that is what is an enthusiastic person does right see yashaswini and noel james discussed why because i called their name but a uh, enthusiastic person what he will do is he voluntarily takes the stage and speaks a positive or the inbuilt quality in him and motivates others also 
because few people heard about noel and yashasvini today probably from tomorrow or the next week they'll start getting up early in the morning and doing some physical activity and then they want to keep their entire day fresh okay good very good so we will continue that uh, fourth point is concerned uh, that is inner person the first one is enthusiasm and the drive and the final resilience the interviewers need to know that the candidate is someone this is a very important uh, quality in fact you know who can rebound quickly following a setback who does not dwell on things and who has a thick skin this is very important your skin hey we will tell our friends no hey, your skin is very thick man what is that that means even though you fail you get up immediately even though something wrong happens with you you fight back immediately even though you get uh, you are hurted you immediately get back that is called as you know thick skin there is simply because truly successful performance in any field is never easy students so results do not come quickly please remember this results do not come quickly and they do not come without requiring that they deal with lot of obstacles hurdles problems frustrations along the way so winners are confident people by and large and their self confidence is not so fragile or tenuous as to diminished by the occasional setback so these are some of the very important qualities of a inner person that is enthusiasm drive and resilience okay the last but not the least what we are discussing is identifying the ingredients of success the first one was starting point day to day execution dealing with the people and inner person the last point is called additional characteristics now we will try to understand what are these additional characteristics <clears throat> and now there are a uh, few additional characteristics which should which the hrs will be seeing in an individual when they are going for uh, uh, interviews the first thing was is self development what do you mean by self development interviewers need to know that the candidate is someone who practices continuous learning this is very important students your learning never ends i have done my mba i need to stop my learning no every day every hour every minute every second the things are changing globally the new technologies are coming globally the new hr uh, you know policies are changing so you being in that particular profession that learning should be there every day every hour every minute every second right so that is very important the that is self development many 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 times it so happens that are already i have reached it, this uh, position i already have entered my dream company then what is the purpose of uh, learning or self development so my aim was what getting into some xyz company i went into xyz company now what next so you should never stop their students whatever new things are there you should be in a position to absorb that so you should be uh, i i remember you should always be like a sponge sponge what it will do the moment it it uh, there is a water you put a sponge over there it try it tries to absorb the maximum water so your mind should be like that right so any new thing is there you try to absorb it so smart people are always learning always working on their own effectiveness always searching for ways to put their talents to optimal use and maximize the results they achieve see you don't know where, whatever skills you have learned you might be thinking that it is waste now but after one year or two years down the lane that skill can be your energy that skill can be your plus point that skill can be your positive point okay so nothing is waste actually that is uh, learning is concerned then the second important characteristic is stability now what do you mean by stability here a winner who joins in the recent month and leaves after a couple of months is not going to do much winning at least not for the interviewers they need to know that the candidate will stay with the organization long enough to repay the considerable investment that both the interviewers and the company will be making in his or her success so there is no room for error here 
the interviewers cannot afford to hire good people and then have them leave after only a year or a year and a half on the job so a uh, stability means what a consistency you should be there these are some of the additional characteristics okay consistency should be there in your job consistency should be there in your performance consistency should be there in terms of your uh, you know learning so you should these are some of the very important ingredients of success okay so the first one was what we understood was goal orientation that is uh, please remember you should be specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound then we have day to day execution wherein we studied about organization initiative and intelligence of an individual then the third one will be that is dealing with the right people or dealing with the people how exactly you will deal with the people see you speak good they also speak good with you you think negative they also think negative about you so it is your thinking your perception your attitude which actually changes the environment okay so how you see the world the world will react with you like that how you see the people the people will behave like with you if you see everybody in the positive mindset the things will be positive with you please remember this okay so dealing with the people that is relationship building communication skills and leadership qualities okay then inner person what we have discussed was enthusiasm then drive and then a resilience then finally some of the additional characteristics what we discussed was that is self development and stability so these are some of the uh, ingredients of uh, success so till here everyone has understood students can any see again i am asking can anyone say yes sir all are silent yes sir so whatever points i have told have you understood today kedar kedar savant good morning very good morning sir okay okay so what i'll do is uh, uh, today i'll end the session here uh, uh you know happy monday to all of you uh, whatever i have mentioned today that is a uh, ingredients of a successful person i request all of you to implement those inbuilt qualities among you and inculcate that so i'll end the meeting now uh, thank you so much for your patience hearing